Hey y'all, it's Casey from Pizzazz. I'm gonna show you a fun activity today that we do at Pizzazz um, Art Camps a lot. Um, it's something you can do at home and it's just a quick, easy, fun, little creative activity. We use uh, just cheap drugstore shaving cream. I have some liquid watercolors here. You can get this at any um, craft store. Um, it's just the watercolor in the liquid form. And I just put them in these jars. You will need some uh, thick paper and then something to um, scrape with. Actually, this is going to be my thick paper. This is uh, cardstock or uh, watercolor paper. And this is what I'm going to scrape with. Now, what I am going to intend to do is make a really cool marbleized piece of paper that, um, that I could maybe write on the other side for like a card or something. You could make just one picture that you can frame. You can do this a million different ways. So, um, but the basics is you squirt out lots of um, lots of shaving cream then you get watercolor just drop it in a lot of times I use a medicine dropper um, but I just don't know if everybody has one of those at home so I'm going to just show you how to do a brush so you get your brush throw it on in there the kids will love this make sure you got something on the table if you're doing this at in your kitchen table okay so just throw it on the liquid watercolor Whee, it looks like that then you're going to get whatever the other end of a brush Go back and forth, up and down. Next, I'm going to go side to side. Just have fun mixing this up. Just don't mix it so much that it turns to, like, brown. <clears throat> then, I'm going to take the paper that I want to be my final piece. I, ch I just cut something down to a 5 by 7 One of the reasons I did that is because I really want this cool marble look to fill as much of the space as possible. If you had a bigger piece of paper, it would just kind of be, it would make a imprint in the middle of the paper. I want it to take up all of the paper, as much as possible anyway. Pulling it off, nothing pretty yet, that's what it looks like, just a big old mess. <clears throat> now, something to scrape it off, I'm going to just kind of start on the edge, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to go at this is, and you are just going to scrape, okay? So, I'm going to use the other side. There's still a little bit of stuff on there. So, I'm going to use the other side and scrape it off. And this looks so cool. So cool and so easy. Yeah, it's messy, but it's so fun. So, check it out, okay? And, you know, you could use different colors, more colors. I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm going to turn it on the back and, um, you know, make a fun little card with it. Or you could fold it in half to make even smaller things. You could cut it and make it cool uh, gift tags so that every time you go to a birthday party, you've got your own little personalized uh, tag to put on the, um, on the present. So, there's all kinds of things you can do with this. So, have fun with it.